Hey, 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 it's me. It's time for Tea with Takenya or Coffee with Kenya. Let's get it started today, guys. Woo, happy Monday to you. Um, today is Monday, April 4th, 2022. I am Takenya Battle, the chief treble maker at Kenya's Keys Voice and Piano Studio, where we provide personalized piano and vocal instruction designed to help you unleash your inner superstar. And I also help private music teachers find less harmony, less hustle, I'm looking at something my sister sent to me, less hustle and more harmony in their music lessons business. Let's talk about today's mug, which is actually one of my favorites again. It's from Harlem Candle Company, which is based out of New York. And today's tea, it's a detox tea. And uh, what does this one say? Nature. Nature teaches us harmony is the sentiment that's on my little tea cup today. So what am I going to talk to you about today? I decided to talk to you about how I met my students. Now, keep in mind, I've been teaching for 22 years. <laughs> I have been teaching for 22 years. So... The fall of 2000, the fall of, two, yeah, fall of 2000, wow, was the first time that I ever set foot into, actually summer of 2000 is the first time I set foot into a classroom uh, with the role of educator attached to my name. But um, how I met my students, I just met some of my students for the very first time this past Friday. And here's the thing, I've been serving these students with voice lessons, piano lessons, drum lessons even, for the past two, I wanna say two, two and a half years almost, but that entire experience has been delivered online. I, I have never, ever, 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 I've never met these babies. I've never met these babies, and I wanna tell you how I met my students for the first time over this past weekend, so. I didn't start out as a private music teacher. I started out as a public school elementary teacher. And uh, I found myself being in the principal's office quite a lot. Uh, and to make things simple, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep that a simple story for today. That's another story for another time. But to keep things simple, I stepped away from the public school classroom and decided to move to uh, teaching entirely in, private music, that can be a scary thing because I had the support of, I know I'm going to get this check for X amount every month versus I don't know how I'm going to get paid. What does this do? How do I make this work type thing? Flash, flow, flash forward 22 years to today, take away two days and get back to last Friday. And what I've come to know is you get faster you, you can go further, you can go further, faster with people. You know, I'm, what I'm saying is you can't work by yourself. You can't work in isolation and expect your business to grow. You can't say, well, I'll do it myself for every single thing in your business. You can't, you can't do that. But if you do, it's going to take you longer to get where you're trying to go. It will take you longer to get where you're trying to go. And fortunately for me, I've been able to have some amazing partnerships. So uh, Rise Imhotep, Rise Academy, uh, led by Talitha Anyabuele, based, based in Florida, is an African-centered homeschool co-op that I was fortunate enough to be able to partner with over the last two and a half plus years. And it started, our relationship started, we were connected through a fellow FAMU Rattler. So shout out to Ryan Mitchell of the FAMU Concert Choir Days. He sang tenor, I sang alto, of course. But um, it's because of those connections that were made at FAMU and the concert choir where, you know, as an adult who now has kids, um, or when we were in the choir, we weren't thinking about, oh, we're gonna have kids one day, you know, at least that wasn't me and Ryan were thinking, <laughs> I think at that time. But um, I ended up teaching Ryan's son with music lessons online. Now, 
I don't live where Ryan lives. Ryan lives probably like two hours away from me. And so I started teaching Ryan's son. And Ryan spoke highly enough about what his, his son's experience was that um, somebody else was listening and it just happened to be Talitha. And Talitha leads this, again, African-centered homeschool co-op that um, had to transition like a lot of people did because of the panini. Had to transi transition like uh, a lot of people did and move to an online setup for all of her teachers, all of her students, and uh, had to pull back on more of those in-person experiences. But I got to say Friday, uh, I knew there was, there was a meetup. There was a meetup of the students from that African-centered homeschool co-op in Dallas. Well, guess where I'm from? This small town called Dallas. Maybe you've heard of it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go home, see my parents, see my people, and uh, just connect. And I'm so, so glad I did. So if you look at the video right before this post, you'll see... Uh, me being enveloped in love by a bunch of little kids that, that I have never, ever, never, ever, never met before in my life. But um, what I was teaching them or what I have what I have been teaching them or how I've been teaching them has surpassed uh, an internet connection. It has surpassed what happens between the screens. It has surpassed, um, I, don't, I, I don't know, it's, it's just gone further than the exchange of the lesson. So um, I want you guys to check out that video of how I met my students for the first time. And it's like the face when you know you've made it home. Because uh, being swarmed and swamped by those kids was like, um, that feeling was indescribable. I, I did not know I would, be, I would be received in love in such a fashion. Um, I did not know that, um, I don't know, you know, I guess my takeaways are, I think those, I think they're, the kids are really listening. They're really listening. You know, they're listening. So, um, it spurs me to want to continue to provide them an experience that goes beyond the music that, that I'm, I'm teaching them on a daily, on a daily basis. Um. And I guess that's very loosely how I met my students for the first time. I showed up at their meetup in Dallas. I was swarmed in love by those kids. And uh, I think Saturday we all rode rides to Six Flags and we had a good time. But check out the video. I'm to Kenya Battle, the chief troublemaker at Kenya's Keys, where we provide personalized piano and vocal instruction designed to help you unleash your inner superstar. I also help private music teachers find less hustle and more harmony in their music lessons business. If you're a future student, go to kenyaskeys.com. If you're a future teacher or a current teacher and you need more tools, visit keyofeasy.com. I'll see y'all soon.